Ten Series One Piece Design. To install the wheel nut, simply line up the key with the spindle keyway and engage the thread. The remainder of the installation is accomplished using a spanner wrench that engages these four slots on the outer face of the wheel nut. While this particular wheel nut uses a spanner wrench for installation, other configurations are also available. Using the spanner wrench, apply axial pressure to the tool while torquing the wheel nut to specification to seat the bearing. Then back it off a quarter turn and retorque the wheel nut to the final specification. That's all there is to it. The wheel bearing is now properly seated and the bearing and wheel are securely locked, yet easily removed later for vehicle servicing. Four component system that's shipped to the vehicle assembly plant as a single unit, ready to install. Its four components are the thrust washer, spring, lock ring, and nut. When the wheel nut is installed on the spindle, all the components except the nut are prevented from rotating by the interlocking key and keyway. And since the spring exerts an outward pressure on the lock ring, the teeth on the lock ring engage the matching set of teeth on the captive nut locking the nut in place. The only way to rotate the nut is to disengage the lock ring by applying axial pressure with the spanner wrench, as shown here. The WN series wheel bearing retainer nut is easy to install and easy to remove when the vehicle requires service. But unless the teeth are disengaged using the spanner wrench, the nut will remain securely in place. In addition to providing a secure mechanical lock, the large number of teeth on the lock ring and nut also makes possible a more controlled end play adjustment. Because there are more potential seating positions around the circumference, the wheel nut can be positioned more precisely on the spindle. 